Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the core Java tutorial, in this video, we're going to explore 2D shapes. That is, we're going to draw lines, rectangle, ellipse, circle, and arc. This comes under unit number 5 in the CS8392 syllabus. So, until now, we have seen um, part 1 in unit number 5, that is, graphics programming, how to work with frames, AWT components and uh, we have uh, seen the demo in the NetBeans and life cycle of applet so today's topic is about working with 2D shapes so uh, basically as I said that we are going to draw lines, ellipse, arc and rectangle so the syntax goes like this for uh, to draw a line you need to follow this syntax that is you need to use a function uh, draw line so you need to uh, specify the x position i mean start x and start y position and end x and end y position so the program goes like this this is very simple uh, we you need to import awt package and applet and you just want to uh, take a class which extends applet if you are using applet you don't want to uh, have a main method as like public static void main is not necessary and this um, from the life cycle we have learned that paint method is very important to draw some text or picture or if you want to draw some lines so you need to use paint method so over here i'm gonna have a method called uh, uh, you know draw line so that you, you can specify according to the syntax uh, x and y positions so that the line will be drawn so to draw a rectangle the syntax goes like this you see this draw rectangle and it got like top left width and height you need to specify and if you want to color it, we need to use a function called uh, fill rect. So you can specify the same if you want. For example, this uh, particular code draws two rectangles. And if I want to fill this rectangle, I just want to write g dot fill rect and just copy paste these values so that this particular rectangle will get filled. I mean, colored. All right. So uh, to draw ellipse and circle. Uh, we're going to use one single method like draw oval is used for both these things uh, so for uh, example you see this the syntax goes like this uh, draw oval in top left width and height and to fill oval you need to uh, specify the same okay so here um, under the paint method you need to say that um, draw oval 20 30 40 50 in the sense it will it, it, it is going to draw a circle basically you know these numbers are like you know uh, in order no? like so I'll be showing you in the demo and this is uh, oval and you see these numbers varies like X and Y and uh, uh, so it it draws basically a oval and you see this arc uh, if you want to draw a uh, arc you need to use a method called draw arc and uh, here you need to pass six values um, you know that uh, top left width height and start angle and sweep angle so earlier for uh, rectangle circle and all these things we are not using these two things so this is a little bit different and to fill the arc you can use the same so this is how uh, uh, arc can be drawn you can use draw arc and uh, you need to specify those values so this basically draws through two arcs fine so now uh, let's flip to uh, NetBeans to execute this program what I have done here is I have collectively uh, you know uh, made it in one single program you see this um, I'm gonna import a AWT package applet and uh, there is a class name called 2d shapes which extends applet and within paint method uh, I have written draw line so I'm gonna draw two lines okay and I have written draw rect and um, draw arc I have also written fill arc first let's draw all these things and we'll do fill rect and fill arc I'm gonna run this program you see this so this is how uh, the output is gonna be so this is uh, two lines and this is a rectangle two rectangles and this is arc this is one arc and this is another arc we have drawn so now I just want to fill this rectangle with some color and I just want to fill this arc in the sense what you can do is you can write something like this uh, let me show you that you see this g dot fill arc I have copy pasted the same over here so that this will fill I mean the color will get you know, filled in, in this arc so likewise I just want to do something for uh, 
um, let's say I'm gonna say uh, fill so if you just type fill you can see all, all the methods so it shows that fill 3d rectangle or fill r fill oval fill polygon fill polygon and you know and fill rect and fill round rect so these are all the you know methods available basically so right now i'm gonna use a uh, fill this is a rect right uh, yeah rectangle and it is asking you to specify the width what i'm going to do is i'm gonna copy paste the same over here so let's copy paste this here okay so now let's execute the program uh, i'm gonna close this run run this file and you see this these this arc and then this rectangle got filled hope you understood how to use fill method okay so one thing we have missed is that uh, we just want to uh, i just want to show you uh, how this draw oval and draw uh, i mean i'm gonna use same um, method to draw circle and ellipse so i'm gonna explore that now so you just want to understand that uh, I have used here like uh, draw oval and these numbers you see this uh, like 90, 100, 120 and 120 like and these values are different so basically this will draw a circle and uh, this will uh, show you uh, oval. Um, I'm gonna run this file and uh, yeah so this is how it is going to look this is a circle and this is a oval so still you can change the values you can play with these values to get a nice uh, shape of all these things so this is how you can work with 2d shapes and I um, uh, hope you understood uh, you know uh, this 2d shapes concept and uh, if you like the video hit the like button your likes and comments will motivate me to do more videos like this don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed my channel thank you and thanks for watching the video